NEOS implants in the NEOS Guide Kit are only included and compatible with the defined list of surgical planning softwares, as you can see listed here. There are two types of guided surgery, fully guided or partially guided, and NEOS provides solutions for both. Today we will discuss the fully guided solution. Fully guided means that all steps in the process, be it drilling, countersinking or implant placement, are done to hub. To hub means coming to a complete stop. This option can only be used in conjunction with a sleeve position of 9mm, indicated by the value S9. Select the correct drill hub based on the implant length according to the NEOS guide tray. Note that the same drill hub is used for all steps per specific preparation site. The surgical placement using the NEOS guide kit requires a 5mm guide sleeve for implants 3.5, 4 and 4.5 and a dedicated NEOS 6mm guide sleeve for implants 5, 5.5 and 6mm. The NEOS provided 5mm guide sleeve is recommended, while the NEOS 6mm guide sleeve is required due to its compatibility with the guide key adapter. During site preparation, push the NEOS standard drill, following the drill protocol for the chosen implant diameter, into the selected drill hub. Ensure the drill is fully engaged. Use the corresponding key to the drill diameter and position into the guide sleeve. For placement of diameter 5 and 6mm implants using the diameter 6mm guide sleeve, the guide keys for drill diameters 2.2 to 4.1mm require the guide key adapter to be pre-mounted onto the guide keys. The guide key adapter is anodized in yellow for better visibility. The metal stop surface indicates the correct mounting direction. Use the holder to store the guide key adapters in the kit. We then drill to hub and then remove the guide key. This process is continued for all drills according to the recommended NEOS drilling protocol. If countersinking, then we always use drill hub 4, green, together with the countersink conduit. After site preparation, the implant mount for the corresponding implant sleeve is chosen and attached with the pre-assembled screw to the implant while the implant remains in the vial. Pick up the implant mount with an implant inserter and place the implant through the guide and place to hub. We then disengage the inserter and once all implants are inserted, unscrew all implant mounts before removing the guide. Following placement, remove the surgical guide and attach either a healing abutment or provisional prosthesis.